Hey everybody, this is Eric for Planting Seeds for Life, and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of transplanting tomatoes. Okay, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but we're going to try to get everything in the picture. Um, I am transplanting tomatoes. I have these biodegradable pots and I'm taking the starts and putting them in here. Now what I do with these is I transplant them and then I, I wet the dirt down just enough. Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. I take this and I wet the dirt down just enough. So that it'll have enough moisture to carry it through. What I'm going to do after that after I get these transplanted then I will take a yeah <laughs> then I will t then I will take a gallon of water or so I, I won't put a gallon in here but I'll I will put it so that it's about an inch in the bottom of this tray here. And from that point on, I will never top water these tomato plants because I want to minimize disease. These ones that I'm transplanting right now are called uh, Napa Rose Blush. I've gotten all of my seeds this year from Baker Creek. And let's see here. Yeah, there we go. And I've had really good germination. There was one one group of seeds I didn't have as good a germination on. Well, actually two. One, uh, uh, Emerald Giant Pepper. I did not have as good of, excuse me, as good a germination on. And also the Livingston's Favorite Tomato. I did not have as good a germination rate on them. But I didn't get as many seeds on the Livingston's favorite. So I was only able to plant like one per seed pod. I didn't realize there wasn't very many there. They only had like maybe 17 or 18 seeds. Well, maybe about 21 or something, because about three of them didn't make it. Anyway, these are going to go to... These seeds, or these plants, are going to go down to the hardware store come Mother's Day. And... We're going to spread them around town. I'm keeping uh, several for myself. But what I got is Livingston Favorites. Um, a black cherry tomato that has been my favorite for several years running and 
this Napa Rose Blush, a Carbon Tomato, which I believe is supposed to be like a Cherokee Purple, kind of. I've never grown it before, but um, I've heard good things from Jim at uh, the Midwest Gardener. And so I'm looking forward to growing that this year. I also, they, they asked me if I would give them a, a green pepper, like a bell pepper, and a, what was the other one? Oh, a jalapeno. So I got the Emerald Giant, which there again did not seem to have as good of a germination rate. And I got the Craig's Grande Jalapeno Pepper. They germinated very, very well. Okay, so that's uh, four trays that are going to be under the lights. We're supposed to be warming up here. Oh, I better put this tray underneath the lights before I move along. We are supposed to be warming up here within like the next five days. So I'm going to probably try to clear space outside and, and harden these off and keep them outside as long as I don't have any... Um, as long as I don't have any frost, I'll be fine. If, it, if the weather starts looking like it's going to have really bad weather, we will bring them in back inside. But as of right now, I really don't have room for all of these plants in here, especially when they're potted off. So... I am looking to try to keep them outside if I can. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day. Thanks for watching. God bless, and see you next time.